I'm a scientist studying humane behavior, and a highly cited study from Rhodes and colleagues found that having a sexier face predicted more short-term partners but not long-term partners in men, and more long-term but not short-term partners in women. It's just one study, and the effect here is small, but it's consistent with other results. What they did is they took hundreds of people, had others assess their facial attractiveness, and then asked those people about their romantic histories. And what they found was that the really good-looking dudes had had more flings, and the really good-looking girls had had more relationships. Why? Well, it might be useful to think of a sexy face as a trait that empowers you to get whatever you want in your relationships. For some men, this will be long-term relationships, and for some women, this will be short-term relationships. But for the most part, research indicates that men are significantly more interested in short-term mating, that's flings, casual hookups, than women. This sex difference is very likely part of our biology, as it spans across cultures. Our ancestors experienced differential costs. Casual mating is higher risk to women from an STD, SDI perspective, a pregnancy perspective, and also a violence perspective, and different benefits. While multiple women can be pregnant by one male at a time, one woman can typically only be pregnant by one man at a time. And the result of this very different cost-benefit analysis seems to be that men are just more inclined to casual mating than women on average. It seems to be that more men than women want to engage in casual mating, they would if they could, and more women than men want to engage in long-term committed relationships, they would if they could. And these underlying differences in desire might just explain the Rhodes finding, that good-looking men tend to have more short-term mates, and good-looking women tend to have more long-term mates.